Saturday workout. So this one is completely different than anything we've done. You're going to help coach Daryl with one of his 2022 goals and I'll explain what that is once we get over to where the wad is. Uh, in this warm up, we're going to either be running or doing mountain climbers. Uh, depending whether you have a treadmill at home or have a nice uh, short circuit that you could use for running and you have a pretty good idea of how to guesstimate meters. So we're going to warm up for that run mountain climber and then we're going to warm up for uh, the wad, uh, which we have to get kind of gym, some of our gymnastic stuff warmed up. Okay, so we're going to start that out. We're going to do two full rounds of this and if you're planning on running, maybe do three rounds of the run warm up. Okay, so how that's going to flow, we're going to start it out with 10 Samson lunges. So that's knee forward. Once that knee's forward, arms come up. Feel that nice stretch in that hip flexor, right? We're here again, knee down, then the arms come up for 10, okay? After that, we're gonna work our way into 10, what I call lunge twists. So we're here, right knee to ground, and we're twisting into that leg, right? And we're just gonna work our way back through on the other side. Again, hip flexor, it also starts to incorporate some more hamstring, okay? After that, we're going to work on what we call 10 toy soldiers. So 10 toy soldiers, we're here, right? We can put that arm out if we want. So we just think of that toy soldier with that nice high kick. Again, that's for getting that hamstring nice and uh, warmed up. Okay, after those toy soldiers, we're going to do 30 seconds in place, the high knees. So we're just right here, getting the legs heated up, okay? So 30 seconds of that, then we're going to turn around and we're going to go 30 seconds of butt kickers, okay? So we're going to do two rounds of that before we move into the other stuff. Now, if you're planning on doing the running workout, I would do the two rounds, I would do the other stuff we have here, and then come back and do one more round of this running warm up, okay? I know it's a little convoluted, but if you're running, one of the biggest problems why people get injuries when they're running is because not of a proper warm up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to do some what we call some wall facing shoulder shrugs. So we're going to be going up against the wall today. Um, so I need to get shoulders warmed up for this. So for a wall facing shoulder shrug, we're here, right? Looks like we're going to start our wall walk. We're going to get ourselves back up tight to that wall and then we're going to do just like what we said and shrug those shoulders okay it's just a keeping those arms straight shrugging those shoulders okay now if you're not going to go up against the wall that's fine so what we can do there is we can do scat push-ups so scat push-ups right that's here tight core and that is just a nice deep shrug where we're spreading those shoulder blades as far apart as we can and then trying to get them to touch. And we're really almost seeing like a hump form in that center of our back. Okay, after we're done those, uh, we'll go into 10 air squats. So our air squats, right? Uh, this is just a good general mobility thing. So got those knees, shoulder width apart, right? Toes pointed out ever so slightly. We're sending those hips back, nice tall chest. Hip makes that knee crease, 10 reps. After we're done that, we're gonna go into what we call donkey kicks. So our donkey kicks, we're here, right? We're looking ahead and we are, just like we're a donkey and we're kicking, right? So we're there, we're gonna do five to that side and then we're gonna do five on the other, okay? So, two rounds of that for warm up, and it, like I said, if you're gonna go back and you're planning on doing the running portion of this, then you would probably do one more round of that running warm up after you've done two rounds of this. So, that's your warm up. I know it's a little convoluted, a little complex. You'll see why once we get into the wad.